Hi our students, this is Mrs. Myers and today we are doing step three, the last step of our family totem poles. Um, we're going to be doing the construction of it. So you know how I've been having you guys save toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls, you're going to need that today. And you will also need tape possibly or glue, white Elmer's glue works well. Um, your ruler and scissors and probably some type of uh, writing utensil like a marker or a pencil all right so as you can see I have already prepared one piece of my totem pole I already glued it um, to the toilet paper roll and this is how the final one piece would be so you want to be able to get your toilet paper roll and each toilet paper roll will be one piece of your totem pole. So if you don't have the toilet paper roll and you have a paper towel roll, you can be able to uh, measure it and get two out of one. So um, remember that each piece is four inches high. So if you put your ruler Put your ruler to the edge of the toilet paper, I'm sorry, to the paper towel roll, and then mark it at the four. You can see that that is one piece. Bring it down, make another mark on it, and you got another four inches. So four plus four is eight inches, and then you would cut at the end right there. So I'm gonna show you guys how to cut the paper towel roll if that's what you need because um, you can only get two out of one of these. So, um, you wanna just take your, you see how you have made your mark around where your eight inch mark is? And you can cut up till you get to the mark. Like that. And then go ahead and go to the line of it and cut along the line. So I'm going to keep this little scrap that I just cut off um, for later. I'm going to save that and put that to the side. So if you use the paper towel roll, you have two and one, so eight inches, four and four inches. You got the eight inch. And the ragged edge, the one that you just cut, I will put that towards the top because you want it to make sure that it can sit nice and um, flat on the table. So the nice side that you didn't have to cut, that should be the bottom. Okay. So it's two ways you can go about it, toilet paper roll or paper towel roll. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is take one of your uh, finished drawings that you have colored and you um, are going to take your glue and on the back of the glue, I'm sorry, on the back of the paper, you're gonna take the glue, you don't wanna put too much, but I always start, um, let me make sure that it's clear. You always want to start with the edges first. So I'm just going to go around the edge of my paper with one line of blue, thin line of blue. And then um, on the inside of that rectangle that I just made, I'm just going to do a wavy line like that on the inside. And that should be enough for now. Okay. So now I'm going to take the toilet paper roll. And I know that I want to make sure that my ear of my uh, rat fits on the paper towel roll. So I'm going to start it like right there and I'm just making it flush with the bottom. Take your time and slowly roll it around, pressing that glue around. And I want the tail of the rat to be on top. I Mine is a little bit uh, longer and I wanted that on purpose because I'm gonna go ahead and cut the, ex the excess off. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna go around the tail. I'm just cutting a little bit off. A little piece of that. Go around this part of the tail. Maybe to just right there. And I'm gonna cut up this line. So now, 
this kind of lays on top and layers on top and I didn't cover up the ear of the rat. So now it lays nicely. Now, if for any reason you see that at the top of it you have some extra paper that's sticking up, you can go ahead and take your scissors and cut that extra off. So I'm just gonna take my time and go along the top and cut off any extra that's sticking up. Making nice and neat, nice and neat edges. All right, Put those scraps to the side, and now I have my rat that is on here. So now we have have the chicken that was already done that I prepared beforehand, and now I have my um, rat. Okay. Now the last piece I wanted to show you something different. So those two I just rolled in glued around it perfectly. But what if you want some part of it to stand out from the paper towel roll? So what I wanna show you guys is how um, to do that. So what I'm gonna do is, for my, um, my dog, I'm gonna cut along the top of the head of the dog. And I'm gonna save the scrap, um, scrap pieces with my pattern on it. I might use that for later. And I'm going to cut around the ear. Cut that, save those scrap pieces. Same thing here. Just cutting along the edge of the dog. And I want these ears to stand out too, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those. I think I'm just gonna cut the whole dog's face out but when I get to the bottom of the dog's face I'm just gonna go straight down so I'm gonna leave that little that straight piece on the bottom so I'm just cutting it to where I can have the ears standing out Okay, keeping all of those pieces all the scrap pieces keeping to the side and now I have a dog with the ears sticking out so I need my ears to be to stand and not over time because it's thin paper to curl up. So I'm gonna put the paper towel, I'm sorry, the toilet paper roll behind it. So I'm actually going to just straighten this out that I had saved from before or from another roll so I have the paper, uh, cardboard so it'll be nice and sturdy like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue, put some glue just like I did before, put some glue behind the ears and the head of the dog. And I'm actually not going to do the whole thing just across here and around there. And I'm gonna let the bottom of my dog hang off of the cardboard. So right where the ear is in that corner, that's when I'll stop. All right, so oops. Try to make sure you don't get any glue on top if you can. Try to keep it met as less mess as possible. And now since I have glued it onto this cardboard, I'm gonna cut off my extra because I don't want that on there. So okay, cut that off. Cut off anything that you don't want to show. So you don't have the paper towel roll showing. Cut off all the cardboard that is showing. All right, so now I have a dog with the ears that are nice and sturdy, they stick out, okay. So now it's time to go ahead and put this onto the toilet paper roll. Um, same thing we did before. Um, I'm gonna put some glue behind here, but I'm not gonna put any glue on the ears because I want them to stand out and not stick down. So this time I'm gonna put glue, white glue off here, all along here, and go ahead and put some glue in the middle. 
Now you're gonna take the piece and make sure it's flush with the bottom, nice and lined up with the bottom, and lay it down. And with this part, you're going to have to hold it. You're gonna have to hold it while it dries. So just hold that down, making sure it's sticking, and you're gonna have to hold it for some minutes. So I'm gonna pause it and hold it like this for a minute and come back to you guys. All right, so now my dog is now, it's dry on here, and I want to make these ears stand out. So I'm just gonna bend them so that they stick out straight from the sides. Like that. And now I have my um, dog piece of my totem pole. Um, and now you want to address all of the paper towel or toilet paper roll that you can see. Um, you guys are feel, can feel free to either paint this with tempera or acrylic paint, or you can use your scrap pieces of paper to add to there if you would like. Or you can use your markers and add the same design to the back. But you don't want to just leave it um, plain like this. So that is what I'm going to do right now. I am going to go ahead and use some markers. To color mine. So I don't want to use paint right now. So I'm actually going to draw those same shapes that I had. Some triangles Painting definitely would go faster if you could easily just paint the whole uh, paper towel um, back of that or toilet paper roll um, easily with that with paint. But I'm going to use markers just because it's less mess. going to follow along with the same pattern that I had before where each one um, was a different color. One, two,
and I want to show you that you can use your scraps as well. So I am going to actually take some glue again and put it along the back of the ear here. And with the pieces that I have of paper, I'm going to just kind of a uh, piece them in like um, a puzzle piece with my scraps. randomly uh, putting them on and it's okay if it's sticking off because I am going to cut off the extra later. Alright, so now I have these pieces on and I'm going to turn it, flip it back over on the other side and cut off the extra. white that is showing, I can cut that off. It's a little wet still from the glue, so scissors don't want to cut as easily. So now I have my totem pole from the back, so it looks good from the back, as well as from the front. And I see that I still have a lot of brown here, so actually, maybe I'll add some color there. Um, I just don't want it to stand out as much, so I'm gonna take my black and just block that off. Just showing you that you can color with the paint or with a marker, any of the paper towel. You can do it however you like. Patterns, colors, paint, just so that it looks nice from all sides, okay? All right, so now it's time to put this uh, totem pole together. So I wanted um, my rat to be at the top, my dog in the middle, and then the chicken on the bottom. I am actually, you can use the glue and you'll have to hold it, put the glue around here. And you will have to hold it until it dried each piece and it takes a while. But if you have some tape, that'll be even faster. And that's what I'm gonna use right now. So I'm gonna take a little piece of tape and you wanna use the clear tape. And I'm gonna hold these together. two hands. This is when your family members could come in handy. One person holding it together while the other one puts the tape on. But I'm by myself, so I'm just going to do it. Okay. One piece. Put it on the back, and you can of course put it all around as long as it's the clear tape. I'm going to do the same thing secure it a little bit on the front or on the sides. Getting some smaller pieces of tape. I don't want it to be too much tape everywhere so it doesn't look messy. Alright, there we go. We got two pieces together 
And I'm gonna go ahead and put together this last piece the same way. And now you have your finished totem pole. That is however members of your family, however many members of your family there are. Uh, mine and my family, I have three that live in my house. Um, and it looks good from all angles. And it's standing tall. All right, you guys, have fun making your family totem poles together.